Hey guys, how you doing? In my last video, we were talking about voice dictation, as in voice typing, right? When a student wants to say something, they'll talk out loud, and then it's going to dictate it all in Google for them. Pretty great tool. So now we're going to talk about what about reading things back, right? Because we as teachers give students directions, maybe they can't read all those directions. So what are they going to do, right? Or maybe we give them an article that they can't read, maybe a PDF book that they're not able to quite read. So we could use those accessibility features built into your Chromebook again to go ahead and help out. So to get to those accessibility features, we push down here by the clock. We push our settings dial again, just like last time. We go to the bottom left under advanced. We scroll down to accessibility and we're gonna manage those accessibility features. So this time we want to enable select to speak. Okay, so now you saw on the bottom of the screen, now this showed up on the bottom of the screen and we're simply just going to go back somewhere. Now, let's say we have an article we want to read, how a dog became mayor of a California town, right? So you're going to say, ooh, too difficult for some of my students to read. Well, I'll simply push this and then I'm just going to click on a word. The Maybe mayor of Idlewild, California, California, was born into public, public service. Now, maybe that's not the best voice, or maybe it's the wrong speed. We can't adjust the speed, can't adjust the voice, but it could help them to be able to read things. And what about directions? Maybe our directions are too difficult. They could click on a single word. So once they click it, directions. And it could just read one word, but what if they want the whole thing read? Well, they can kind of just drag the area that they want read aloud to them. So I'll click this again. Then I'm just going to kind of drag this whole area here. Directions, write, write a, paragraph a paragraph about, about your, your favorite, favorite activity, activity to do, to do during, during the weekend. So maybe that'll help your students when they literally can't read the directions, or maybe it'll help them with reviewing. So maybe you assign them a book to read online, they read it alone, then now this reads it back to them, so more repetition. Maybe they're using it for notes or other things, but now you'll be able to turn that on and off in accessibility. When we go back to the same spot we were in with the text-to-speech, we could open our voice settings. So when we want to open those settings, see the rate, we could slow it down, speed it up a little bit, change the pitch on the voice. So we can change it a little bit and especially slowing it down would especially help our newer readers. So hopefully those accessibility options will help. If you need to go back to my other video about text to speech, so for students who can't type so well, then there'll be more help for them. See you later, have a good night.